Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss why your child is at risk of developing iron deficiency anemia. First we will learn what is iron deficiency, then we will learn what are the five factors that can increase the risk of iron deficiency anemia in your child. Then we will learn about the signs and symptoms of iron deficiency anemia. Then we learn of the complications that can occur if a child has iron deficiency anemia and not treated. Then we learn what is the treatment of iron deficiency anemia and the, how to prevent your child from getting iron deficiency anemia. If you like this video and benefit from it, hit the like button, comment below, share and uh, Please help us by subscribing. I'm Wahinya the doc. The purpose of doing this video is to simplify medical conditions for you and to help you understand your health and your child's health. Let's start by defining iron deficiency anemia. Iron deficiency anemia is low red blood cells in your circulation. Iron deficiency anemia occurs when you are body does not have enough iron to support the formation of red blood cells. Iron is a, an essential nutrient that is required by our bone marrow to help in the production of red blood cells. Red blood cells transport oxygen from our lungs to our body tissues. So when we have few healthy red blood cells, this means that our body will not get enough oxygen for the metabolic functions. What are the five factors that increase the risk of iron deficiency anemia? Ninini ni factors gani hizo zinaweza fanya mtoto akuwe na low iron in the body? When a healthy baby is born, usually they have stores of iron, 250 milligrams or stores of iron. Iron is stored in the liver. These uh, babies, they usually get this iron from the, from the mother. After six months, this is where now the risk of developing iron deficiency anemia occurs. So number one, if you are feeding your child with too much cow's or goat milk, Especially, tuseme, maybe haukuwa na maziwa enough wakati ulikuwa mtoto alikuwa below six months when we usually have exclusive breastfeeding. Haukuwa na matoto maziwa enough. So, you gave your child cows or goat milk. This one increases the risk of developing iron deficiency anemia because cow's milk or goat milk has uh, less iron in it. And also, cows and goat milk has high concentration of calcium. This uh, high concentration of calcium affects the absorption of iron from the child's gut. Number two, children usually have a high growth and development. So they need high, high levels of iron so that uh, the, the growth can occur simultaneously with the supplementation of iron. Number three, if a child has uh, hookworms, hookworms usually occur in children because watoi wanapenda, watoto wanapenda kutembea mgu, bear fruit. So, hookworms usually are in the soil. So, when your child is walking barefoot in, in the soil, Hookworms usually penetrate through the skin of the of the foot, enters into the circulation. That they enter into the circulation, then they enter, they go to the lungs. Zikiwa kwa lungs, hookworms toyata present with uh, coughing and uh, can complain of chest pain. Then they will move with up with the trachea and uh, and uh, then uh, move down through the Osophagus. Osophagus is the food pipe, and then the, the endoquatumbo, then to the intestines. In the intestines, they will start uh, sucking blood. Eh? 
Sikuwa kwa tumbo mtoto anaweza anaweza kuwa na signs and symptoms like uh, uh, heartburn and uh, those signs and symptoms which are similar to to peptic ulcers. The risk number four is that uh, a child who has a feeding problem, mtoto anasumbua, huwa ataki kula, huwa akona high chances of developing iron deficiency anemia because we get iron from from our food. Then um, uh, children, most children after six months, when I start what we call weaning, most of our children, um, most of our mother, they usually give, they start weaning our children with with the greens. Greens vegetable, vegetables contain a type of iron that is uh, poorly absorbed from from our intestines eh, into the circulation. So usually. We recommend that you, when you are weaning your child, make sure you have a period meat. You can you can try to 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 have uh, this uh, this meat that is is, uh, is is able is can be able to be swallowed by by a child. Eh? That is, uh, you try to buy minced meat that can be that is chewable and uh, it's able to be your child can be able to swallow. What are the signs and symptoms of iron deficiency anemia in children? One, your child will have a decreased energy. Umtoi atakuwa anataka anataka tu anataka tu kulala ataki kucheza. So you notice your child has a decreased energy. Number two, your child he or she will be pale, pale in a manisha. We usually check in the eyes if you check in the uh, conjunctiva, ama the palm or the, the tongue, you will find that uh, it is more whitish, eh? it's more whitish. Then your child will have tiredness, atakuambia, mamu ni mechoka, nasikia kuchoka, so utashindi wanini mtoto anashinda kisema mechoka, because they will have uh, that uh, extreme tiredness or fatigability, because our muscles need oxygen, and uh, in this case, the, the child muscles are not getting enough oxygen. Number three, your child will develop uh, uh, shortness of breath. They might be develop a headache, kuma na kichwa. They might also develop uh, dizziness. Your child will have what we call uh, pika. Pika is a situation where the child is craving for ice and uh, non-nutritious, non-nutritious foods. Eh? Antaka ice, antaka uh, kukula uchafu, that. It's only if it will, then you see nutritious, which uh, your child you will see is craving for. Then your child will uh, be irritable. Irritable niya ti mtoto atai kushikwa. Kimshika unona anasumbua. That is what we call irritability. Then your child will have uh, a poor appetite. So kumpea chakula, nakula kidogo, then ataki, ataki chakula from that point. What are the complications of uh, iron deficiency anemia? If iron deficiency anemia is not treated, what are the complications that will occur? One of the complications is that uh, your child will have uh, poor growth and development. So, ukimuangalia, or what we call started growth, ukimuangalia, uangalia watoto waijiake, umtoto, anaka, that, uh, anapia that, ako, amechelewa. Ama what we check as milestones. Milestone is that if toto anafaa kutembea, ama anafaa ku, kukua anafanya, kukua anafanya certain activity at this uh, age, unapata, amechelewa iyo maneno. Then your child will have a poor academic performance. Pata mtoto wako shule and uh, performance yake is, is not good. Na shino sasa mtoto, bona ashikanishi masomo, mebe will come bright. The, the mother and the dad are both bright and then we were wondering then from there uh, your child will have uh, behavioral disturbances behavioral disturbances appear as a, a condition we call attention deficit hyperactivity disorder attention deficit hyperactivity disorder is a is a disease where your child is uh, hyperactive is excessively hyperactive and usually your child will never you will never 
we will never pay attention. So, apata mtoto bibi fule wakati wengine wametulia wamesoma yeye yeah, anataka tu anataka tu kutembea class or or we we'll have uh, those uh, those uh, those so much so excess movements eh? is not paying attention and is not uh, concentrating on anything. And then uh, will, uh, your child might with attention deficit disorder the, your child usually has uh, what we call anafanya vitu without reasoning of of the end. Ato kimambia acha unaona anataka kufanya tu something that uh, doesn't want to care about the, the end result. Uh, number four, your, your child has this complication we call Pramavinson syndrome. This is a medical term is kushtue. Pramavinson syndrome itakuwa na atakuwa na soreness of the tongue. Soreness of the tongue, uh, the, the tongue muscles usually need uh, need iron because uh, the tongues usually operate with uh, with something we call myoglobin. So without enough iron in the body there is less myoglobin. Myoglobin will present less of myoglobin in the muscles. The muscles will, will, will present with soreness. Then, atakuwa na number two, what we call esophageal web. Esophageal web ni at the food pipe itakuwa inaka like a, a cobweb, a spider. That's what we call uh, esophageal web. Then, a child will have uh, what we call dysphagia. Dysphagia is plain for swallowing. Takwana hiyo peni for swallowing. Anakwambia anasikia uchungu wa kimeza. Both uh, solid and liquid foods. And then uh, anaza. Mtoto anaza develop uh, spoon nails. Spoon nails ni ati kucha. Kucha zinaka kijiko. Like zikona ka depression hapo katikati. If uh, another complication is that uh, your child might develop uh, heart failure. When you have low oxygen that is circulating in your your blood and uh, your tissues need more oxygen your heart has to compensate compensation occurs as a uh, occurs in in two ways that is uh, the heart rate in energy and then uh, the, the challenge is that uh, more heart rate and uh, strong strong heart, so heart heart beats will lead to uh, what we call uh, cardiac remodeling so if uh, a child has severe anemia and this uh, severe anemia is not treated for a long time uh, the heart will uh, will will become uh, will develop into what we call uh, heart failure uh, the last complication is death death uh, especially if your child has a very severe anemia and uh, maybe uh, a situation of happens that your, your child is needed to be transfused and uh, maybe for religious reasons Munakata mtoto wa damu. So, yo, that one might result in death. What is the treatment of iron deficiency anemia? How do we treat iron deficiency anemia in children? And how do we prevent iron deficiency anemia? Number one is that you give uh, foods that are rich in iron. Food uh, that is rich in iron is that we have uh, meat, we have uh, poultry, yoni kuku, samaki, and uh, uh, then we have uh, green veg vegetables so, uh, there are so many number two give your children what we call for iron fortified foods iron fortified foods total kifikisha miezi sita unampea kuna uji inakuanga na iron we have uh, akina cererac they contain iron, we have a bitter bits, they contain iron. Those are what we call iron fortified foods. Then make sure you give your child uh, foods that are rich in vitamin C. Vitamin C usually help in absorption of iron. Iron needs or require vitamin C or ascorbic acid so that it can be able to, to be absorbed fast from, from your stomach. Uh, foods that uh, contain uh, vitamin C, we have uh, we have tangerines, we have oranges, we have melon, uh, we have broccoli, uh, vegetables, etc. Then uh, we have uh, we have uh, avoid avoid uh, cow's milk if a child, if especially if a child is under one year, 
and if a child is uh, is above uh, one year, make sure you don't give more than uh, 700 ml eh? because we have said cow's milk contain contain low iron levels and it contain high high calcium levels. Calcium will compete with iron for absorption from from the child's gut. Then we we usually recommend if a child, especially children from uh, six month month onward. You give uh, iron supplements. There are so many iron supplements, and make sure you give the 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 there are those iron supplements that contain vitamin C. They are uh, the best. You can give for three months to six months, depending with the severity of iron deficiency anemia. Uh, Mohinya the dog. If you like this video, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.